So approaching the boxing ring is India's Summit. Damon O'Neill of Jamaica is the man boxing out of the blue corner. So we're underway in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. This contest in a round of 64 between boxers from India and Jamaica. The boxer wearing red is India's Summit, just 19 years of age, part of a full strength, 13 strong Indian boxing team. They've got boxers in every weight. The boxer wearing blue operating out of the southpaw stance is Jamaica's Damon O'Neill, part of a three man Jamaican boxing team actually lives in the United Kingdom in Reading, but comes to the boxing ring having taken back-to-back -back Jamaican national titles in 2019 and 2020 in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. And there's a sharp southpaw left success landed by O'Neill against the advancing Summit. Summit comes to the ring as a fellow national champion, but this is how he goes about his craft. Just 19 years of age, Summit. O'Neill is 24, and the reason I mention the tender teenage years of the man in red is that I was commentating on his contest at the World Youth Championships earlier this year in Kielce in Poland. Was down at 69 kilograms. And was very big at 69. Here he's moved up to 75. And one suspects he's still got plenty of growing to do, but he likes to go about his craft in this marauding type fashion. Good lead left hand after repelling the shot and another lead left drives O'Neill backwards across the ring. He's just increasing the distance to regain his composure. Tries with the left hand to the body and then a sharp southpaw left once again from O'Neill. But again, he's being backed up now as Summit continues to increase the pressure over that front foot. And O'Neill, through this first couple of minutes in the round, clearly knows what he's doing in a boxing ring. The reigning two-time Jamaican champion, but he appears to be a different type of boxer when he's put onto the back foot. Can Summit, has he recognized that? And can he maintain that pressure? Good defense with the left glove from O'Neill, but he couldn't block that one. And then it's followed up by another left-hand success and a crashing right hand finds its home. Good work to the body, but o Summit spoken to about punching incorrectly with the inside of the glove. There's a good double jab left hand out of the southpaw stance. Flashing left hook not too far away from the Jamaican boxer. Inside the final 30 seconds is again left right success for Summit. Straight left attempted to the body from O'Neill as the two boxers fencing with the lead hands. Bit of forearm brought into play by O'Neill. Tries the left hand to the body, right hook to the head. And the shot streering around the rear of the head, rendering it a rabbit punch from O'Neill. He did score with two bolo lefts on the resumption of the action, sinking him into the pit of Summit's stomach. To conclude the first round, a very good round of boxing. But 
Ali Summit, who has taken it unanimously 10-8 on the card of the judge from Kazakhstan. Wow. I don't think there's any doubt that Summit won the round. 10-8, perhaps a little harsh on Damon O'Neill. But again, when he's forced backwards and into that type of posture, looks just a little less comfortable. But there was a beautifully picked left uppercut. But then Summit, almost as they said, forget this. And in the mid portion of the round, look to increase his pressure in a bid to drive Damon O'Neill backwards. So into the second round we go then. Damon O'Neill, as well as having back-to-back -back Jamaican national championship success, has taken domestic success in England as well. It's been a bit of a division in amateur boxing in England. And he took the ABA Alliance Championship back in 2017 in the 75 kilogram middleweight division. But there's an example of the tendency O'Neill shows to try and lean away from the punches when he's driven backwards, keeping his eye on his opponent. It's not as though he's panicking in the pocket, but his posture just appears to be a little bit of a compromising position when he's attempting that layback over the back foot. Because look at that, now he's in the corner. And Summit was able to look for a home for his punches once again. Right-left success out of the southpaw stance from O'Neill. Heads come together as O'Neill looked to advance. But again, O'Neill being driven backwards towards his own corner here now. Action currently in the space of center ring as he tries a sneaky southpaw left. The second of the two southpaw lefts did get through. So beyond the midpoint of the second round. Good southpaw left to the body of Summit from O'Neill. But again, going backwards in a straight line right back into his own corner, O'Neill. Cleverly claims his man and spins his weight out of that confined position. But he has to be careful that he doesn't give the impression of being negative here, of trying to nick this, because Summit is invariably the boxer on the front foot. And there's a good southpaw left landed once again by O'Neill. But that is the type of thing he perhaps has to do a little more often. Hold his ground, back up the man in red. And so it doesn't look as though it's Summit who is the only boxer looking to make this a contest. That's often something that a back foot boxer has got to consider, particularly in Aiba style boxing. Keep the judges happy. Show them that you can hold your ground, back up your opponents and show a bit of variety in your work. Because sometimes there can be a fine line depending on where you're seeing the action from, between back foot boxing as a good right hand to the body and left hand over the top scores for Summit. But there can be a fine line between what's construed as a beautiful back foot boxing or running. Not suggesting that Damon O'Neill is running, but perhaps he's got to back his man up a little bit more than he's done during the course of the first two rounds. Conceded the first unanimously 10-8, which I thought was rather harsh on the card of the judge from Kazakhstan. 10-9 across the board. So both rounds scored unanimously in favor of Summit. Damon O'Neill of Jamaica is going to need a massive third and final round to overturn the deficit that he faces with three minutes to go. And again, some of these swarming attacks being launched by the boxer from India. You see O'Neill keeping his eye on his opponent. But when he gets into that type of position, well, there's really not much else he can do other than go backwards further. By adopting that crouch and leaning back in the manner that he does. So as we move into the third and final round in this battle of national champions, Jamaica's Damon O'Neill needs a massive final round, having conceded the first two unanimously. Summit for the majority of the contest has been the boxer on the front foot. 
O'Neill has demonstrated a sharp southpaw left that has plenty of creativity and cleverness behind it. Very educated backhand he possesses out of that port-sided stance. And here he gets onto the front foot in a bid to take it to his opponent. Left hand to the body wasn't too far away from the boxer wearing blue. Tries a speculative right uppercut and followed it with a backhand, but never didn't really find a range with either shot. Summit looking to restore the rhythm that he established in the first two rounds by being the aggressor in the contest. Credit to Damon O'Neill for trying something different, coming out on the front foot to begin this third and final round, having conceded the first two unanimously. It's very difficult to box in a posture that you're not used to adopting and sustain it for any period of time. It just requires so much more concentration as there we see the educated rapid fire southpaw left of Damon O'Neill, but he's being backed up once again, just in danger of looking a little bit disorganized as he was adopting reverse gear. Now it's in the space of center ring once more. And again, O'Neill in his bid to avoid punches, sometimes taking his eye off his opponent. Unless he's got eyes that move independently like a lizard and while his head looking one way, he can swivel them around and see. I said earlier on in the contest when he was leaning back, he was keeping a watchful eye on the opponent, but the head was increasingly turning away in the previous portion of this third round. Not quite sure his eye would be able to remain locked on his opponent from the type of position he was adopting. So 40 seconds to go then in this, the World Championship debut at the senior level for both men. Remember, Summit, a quarter finalist in the World Youth Championships in Kielce earlier this year. There's a good double jab, left hand success. The left hand definitely a scoring shot from O'Neill. So he's had his moments in each of the three rounds in this contest, but he just hasn't, hasn't had enough of them to take a portion of the round for any of the five scoring judges. So it will be Summit who will progress through to the round of 32, the second preliminary round. And again, the body language so instructive. High fives immediately over in that red corner. And altogether more subdued, sa subdued saunter back to the blue corner by Damon O'Neill of Jamaica. But a good performance from the teenager. Damon O'Neill had his moments in each of the completed three rounds, but couldn't produce enough of those moments to make life uncomfortable on a sustained basis for Summit from India's Haryana region. Let's get the official verdict then, which should see Summit progress through to the round of 32 in the men's 75 kilogram middleweight division. And here's confirmation of a unanimous points decision verdict in favor of Summit of India, eliminating Jamaica's Damon O'Neill. O'Neill taking the final round on the card of the Argentinian judge. Judge, the judge from Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan scoring a 10-8 round in there in favor of Summit, which came in the first. But make no mistake, the right man has had his hand raised. Damon O'Neill showing flashes of what he could do throughout the course of the contest. But Summit, a deserved winner, and he progresses through to the second preliminary round of the men's 75 kilogram middleweight division.